Thank you for joining me, I'm Alex and I want to talk about AMD today because um, there's a bit of sale going on, I'm not sure if you noticed that, but um, we've had the worst day since 1987 today and um, you know, things are not looking great right now, let's just put it that way. <clears throat> so. AMD makes processors, graphics cards, some other stuff, um, and uh, they're actually catching up with Intel, and um, that's kind of why they were very overvalued, in my opinion, last year. And um, I sold the shares that I had in July um, when they were $30, and now that they are $39, um, I figured it's good to do an update. So um, they were at $59 a couple months ago and um, obviously not doing great since then, but not much has really changed. So um, the fundamentals kind of still look the same as they did then and um, you know, an updated video never hurt anyone. So current market cap is $45 billion. Um, when I bought them, they had already doubled in price then um, they tripled when I sold them and then they went up another $30 ish basically and um, so basically doubled in price again and uh, it kind of went downhill a little bit from there but I think that with the numbers they posted especially the forecast um, it wasn't actually a terrible buy after I sold them long after I sold them but um, it wasn't a, a terrible sell before they made the predictions about the future and the future PE. And uh, right now, obviously, dividends zero, but revenue is $6.7 billion, which is basically unchanged from the previous year. Earnings $340 million, basically unchanged from the previous year. Current PE is 130. They touched on 250 a while ago. Uh, and the forward PE is 43. Now, um, if they can actually get to a PE of 43, I don't think that it would actually be a terrible buy. The reason for that is that over the past 20 years, they have not been able to compete with Intel, and they have finally caught up for some reason. I assume that Intel dropped the ball, but it's hard to say. And so, obviously, in the future, they should pick up a lot of market share um, where Intel is, uh, or had the lead, had quite a significant lead, and now doesn't have the lead anymore. And so, um, I think that things are looking a lot better for AMD right now than they have in the previous 20 years. So, clearly good things going on, clearly um, things going right for them, and clearly things going in the right direction. And um, the question is how quickly and for how long before Intel is able to crush them. Now, that might never happen, obviously. Um, and it kind of depends on what Intel is doing and how they're doing it and why they're doing it, basically. So total assets $6 billion, total liabilities $3.2 billion, which gives them total stockholders equity of $2.8 billion, which is up uh, from $1.3 billion, so up more than 100% there. Um, those are some fairly terrible numbers overall, and that is kind of the problem right now where we don't know where the economy is headed, and so overall I'm worried that if we did have a recession, which is possible, not sure how likely, but definitely possible, I wonder if they can just hold over until all that is done and died out and people are investing again, or if they're going to have to try to raise money. And um, in a stock market crash, raising money is just, I'm not saying not possible, but definitely not easy. Um, so four months ago, getting money was no problem. Right now, getting money would be a problem. So $2.8 billion in the bank, um, that is almost half their revenue. So um, I would assume that they can easily last a year without any problems. Um, beyond that, I think things would look pretty dire. And it depends on where they are at that time. And if they can still compete with Intel, 
if the global economy is picking up again to where people are investing in their processors, so if they can get those sales um, in a year, then I don't think they have any problems. If the recession lasts for more than that, and let me just say right now, there is no recession right now. It's just that the risk of recession has increased dramatically. So if there is a recession and it lasts for a while, um, then I think that there is a problem that they might not be ready to deal with. So this is a bit of a risky investment right now. And I'm not sure if the reward really makes up for that. So um, a forward PE of 43 is fairly high. And uh, I'm not sure if they can still grow from there. So we have a two year outlook, at which point they still might not break 20, which I think is kind of a problem right now. So personally, I'm not going to buy the stock right now. But I wouldn't blame anyone for buying this stock because they're finally able to compete. They have good graphics cards that can compete with NVIDIA. They have good processors that can compete with Intel. And um, they do make the processors for both the PlayStation and the Xbox, which are both probably going to be on sale by Christmas. And so overall, things might be looking pretty great for them. But if there is a global recession, things might also go the other way quite significantly. So I wouldn't really mind to have a speculative investment here. But more than that, I think is kind of a problem. So um, as a value investor, I don't think I would buy the stock right now. As a dividend investor, definitely not because there's no dividend. But as a growth investor, I don't mind a speculative investment here to see where they are when the new PlayStation comes out, when the new Xbox comes out, um, when more graphics cards are sold, and um, depending on the global economy, when maybe more processors are sold. That's it for me for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.